Lesson 2.4, Problem Solving, Compare by Matching Sets to 5. In this lesson, we draw our model to show a set, and we draw lines to match and compare the numbers. These are Tala's pumpkins. And Bob has a number of pumpkins that's less than the number of Tala's pumpkins. So how many pumpkins might Bob have? Well, we could count Tala's pumpkins, and we could draw counters to show how many Bob can have. We can also use counters in a five frame and draw lines to match and compare. So here we have a pumpkin and we can draw a line to match. Here we have a pumpkin, we can draw a line to match to the five frame. And here we have a pumpkin and can draw a line to match it. That means they would have the same number of pumpkins, but it said that Bob had less than Tala. That means we would have to take at least one away in order for Bob to have less. Bob could have two pumpkins. One, two. So if Tala has three pumpkins, Bob could have two pumpkins. But Bob could also have one pumpkin. A set that has fewer counters will have a number of objects that comes first in counting order. One and two come before three in counting order. And there can be more than one answer because one and two both come before three in counting order. If Tala has three, Bob could have just one. That's less than three. Here we have a cube train. We need to count the cubes in the cube train. I count one, two, three, four. We can write the number four. We need to draw a cube train that has a number of cubes greater than the number we wrote. So we can draw squares for our cube train. It doesn't have to be a perfect drawing. Now, right now, these match, these match, these match, and these match. So right now we have the same number. We, have, we drew one, two, three, four. To have a number of cubes greater than, we need to draw at least one more cube. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. That's a number that's greater than 4. 5 is greater than 4. We can see we drew one more cube, so we have a greater number of cubes in our cube train. So remember, to show greater than, at least one more cube needs to be on our cube train. Here, we need to count the cubes in the cube train. I count 1, 2. We need to write the number. We write the number 2. We need to draw a cube train that has a number of cubes less than the number we wrote. We wrote the number two, so we need to make a cube train that has less than two cubes. If I draw two cubes, then they'll have the same number, but we need less than, so we can make sure that we draw a cube train that has at least one taken away. One is less than two. Our cube train only has one cube. Emma saw a number of squirrels greater than three. And some problems have more than one answer. For her to have seen a number greater than three, we would have to find a number of squirrels that would come after three in counting order. If we match Emma's three squirrels, we see four is greater than three. There's one more. And five is greater than three. See the three is one, two, three. Here we have more than three. So four and five could be the right answer because some problems can have more than one answer. It depends on the problem. 
And remember, the size of the objects themselves don't matter when we're counting. Here we have three turtles, one, two, three, three little ones. And here we have one, two, three bigger turtles. We can match them to each other, and we see that it's the same number. Here we have two small pumpkins, and here we have two larger pumpkins. We can match them to each other. It's the same number, even though they're different sized pumpkins. Here's two pumpkins, and here's two pumpkins. So we could compare numbers by matching sets with a line. In our next lesson, we're going to compare by counting sets to five. I hope you're doing well, and keep trying your best, and I'll see you next time. Bye.